Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. It's Monday and Chris has got something interesting to take a look at and what it happens to be is the Whelan Micro Pioneer. Let's go over and check it out right now with Chris. Thank you, Stuart. I have here Whelan's Micro Pioneer LED floodlight or spotlight, whichever you want to call it. I'm going to quickly show you how the front cover here will come off for doing a lens change as well as removing the inner optic board so I can show you the diode assembly. That's actually what is inside this nice robust cast housing that gives this the bright illumination that it has. So to start things off, I'm going to go ahead, remove the four face screws here. You can take a look and see that there's a little clear polycarbonate washer. You'll make sure to keep those on your screws. Last one here. So with the screws removed, I can now remove the front face, which is a nice one piece cast assembly from Whelan. Filter lens inside. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the four Phillips head screws so I can free the reflector assembly inside there. Go ahead, remove the four screws here. If you've been curious what these two yellow stickers are on the base of the Micro Pioneer here, they're actually not stickers. They're what's referred to as a Gore-Tex breather. Inside of the Micro Pioneer housing, maybe a little tough to see, there's two holes there. And those holes go all the way through the assembly to the Gore-Tex breathers. So the purpose of those, because you actually have an inset rubber cap here, is when the cover is cinched on, in washing your vehicle, driving it daily through the rain or the snow, or when you pressure wash, if condensation does get in here, the Gore-Tex breathers in the base will allow the condensation to drip through, basically evaporate out. So with that, it's also important when you mount your Micro Pioneers to mount them in a way so that your Gore-Tex breathers are down facing versus facing to the side or facing upward where you wouldn't have proper internal airflow. So now I've given you a little heads up on what the yellow circles are here. I'll go ahead, remove the inner optic here. It's a little snug. Let's go what you have here is a series of 12 dimples. So inside the Micro Pioneer, you have a total of 12 diodes that you can see in three rows here that are affixed onto an aluminum extrusion. It's actually held in to the unit via the wiring harness. Now to keep the unit nice and watertight with the harness connection on the back here, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it affixed from the factory. But should you ever need to fully remove this board, you can go ahead, loosen your rear weather tight harness connector, then pull this all the way out and through your housing. Inside here again, the piece of aluminum that's been affixed to the black cast housing acts as a heat sink. So after your units have been on, the diodes have heated up, the heat from them disperses to the aluminum panel behind the board here so that the whole cast housing can then dissipate the heat from the diodes. Go ahead, now 
do a quick reassemble. There's a little bit of spacing in here, so you want to make sure that your holes are going to line up for reinstalling your set screws. And the optic portion itself, when you heard that little snap there as I was sliding it around, will actually drop into four little spots where the screws will go through. So your optic will fit securely to your diode board. I'm gonna go ahead, put my four small set screws back in. Gonna go ahead, re-tighten those. They are relatively long screws, so they will take a bit of turn in to get them all the way down and into the base. And last one here. So that's re cinched into the cast housing. Again, black gasket here that can be removed, creating a nice tight weather seal for the front face, like I mentioned previously. Go ahead and line that back in there. So rather than taking our spot optic here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a different optic that's included with the Micro Pioneer. You get a total of four, so you can make your light work for you. If you want a spot lens, you can do a spot lens. If you want a flood, you can do a flood. And the other lenses here adjust the degree of your flood. So if you want a narrower beam, a wider beam, a higher beam, the lenses can be put on as you so desire. I'm gonna just go ahead, pick this flood lens here. There's an etched side and there's a smooth side. The etched side on the lenses and like you can see here, we'll go to the inside of the Micro Pioneer, just to make the lens sit on there for me without having to hold it. Set it up like that. Take the black cast top here. Realign all the edges so it fits nice and snugly. Again, you can see once it's on, It'll be nice and smooth, flush all around it. Again, if you needed to put a different lens on, you'd remove your four screws, take a different filter, and put it on. Again, go ahead, realign that there. Start these a little snug by hand. Now I'll go ahead, finish them off with the driver here. And when I redo screws on units with gaskets, I like to do them kind of like if you're doing the lug nut tightening on your car. Basically doing them in a cross action so that way your gasket here, or basically your pressure, is going to secure equally all the way across. Micro Pioneer, face has all been re cinched down. Flood optic lens that I've put on there. Let's go ahead. Connect it to some alligator clips. Make sure it's going to work okay. Well, hopefully you're wearing your sunglasses right there if you didn't just get completely blinded out. 
looks to be working just fine. So again, I have here Whelan's Micro Pioneer in the black cast housing, showing you how the front securing face will come off that holds in your different lens types. The diode board inside here, the gasket, your base yellow circles and what those do for you, and also how nice and bright the unit is when you fire it up to blind yourself. Again, I'm Chris. Thanks for spending some time with me here on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. Really appreciate that. Interesting micro pioneer, taking it apart. Always fun. It's Monday. I'm Stuart. And again, thanks for watching SirenNet Television.